Sean Sewell with InGearMit.com. In the beautiful mountains of Colorado, testing out another pair of Costa Del Mar sunglasses. These are the Diego. They are a fantastic sunglass. This is probably the 20th pair of Costa Del Mars we've reviewed. And these might be in the top three of my favorites for function as well as aesthetic. So let's get into this sunglass review. First and foremost, these are a performance sunglass. These are a wrap sunglass, as you can tell which is ideal, obviously, if you're on the water, fishing or other water sports, or in my case, oftentimes uh, not just fishing, I'm getting better at fishing, but biking, hiking, spending time in the mountains, or also other activities where I just want full wrap coverage. Oftentimes when I'm driving, which sounds kind of goofy, but I like to have my windows down and wind coming in, especially when I'm off-roading here in the mountains or road tripping to different states here in the U.S., I really like to have protection on the sides, and these Diego do a fantastic job of it. They are a extra large covers, as you can tell. For reference, I have a medium-sized head, and these lenses are the first time I've used these lenses. They are the copper silver mirror lenses, which are really good for variable light conditions. So we've reviewed the blue-based the gray based, the silver based, um, and the low light, the amber ones. Well, those, those are fantastic for low light. This is my first time using these lenses, and it's been ideal. We've had a lot of storms. You can probably see the remnants of a storm right there. It has rained more in the mountains in the last two months than I think it has in a year, two, maybe three years, which is great. It's obviously very green, and the fire bands have been lifted. It's fantastic. But with that cloud cover comes variable conditions, in which case this lens is fantastic for it. I'll try and give you an observation of what I get to see. This is always the tricky part of the review. It's really hard to see it, but you can see it is uh, good for bright light as well as the variable light. While I have you here, I'll show you the sunglasses. There you go, focus camera. Stylish, absolutely. Bioresin, yes. You can attach your retention system there if you want to, your croquis or the Cosa Del Mar makes really good ones as well. These are made in Italy. If I can give you the specs, yep, here we go. 62, 14 on the bridge. I'll get back to the bridge in a second. 113 in length. And extra grippy right there. Don't focus on me, focus on the sunglasses. And yeah, get back to this bridge here. Check this out. So not only do you have an adjustable, very comfortable bridge that is fantastic um, for, you know, accommodating a lot of faces, it's a high nose bridge. So if you have a higher nose, lower cheekbones, I don't know if the sunlight can hit correctly, it actually is extremely comfortable, which might be why I gravitate towards these shades over some other ones we're currently testing. For aesthetics and for a lot of function, I still prefer the more flat. I just think it's a more attractive look. But if I'm going to be anywhere where I need protection from the side, from sun, bouncing off of snow, or bouncing off of water, I'm absolutely going to pick a wrap sunglass. And I, I have to say, these might be my favorite wrap sunglasses we're testing, um, which is saying quite a bit. These by no means are a uh, <laughs> budget friendly. I believe this, the 580G glass lens, uh, with the copper silver mirrored lens and the setup is $294 US price may change uh, overseas It's a significant investment, but you're getting Costa you're getting 580g glass lenses Polarized all the amazing optics that they put into their sunglasses as well as their seawall I don't talk enough about the seawall protection on the lenses the reason I like the glass lenses so much is because they're I don't want to say scratch proof, but I've yet to scratch a pair, which is saying a lot because I don't treat my sunglasses with any kind of, uh, well, uh, with respect, but they are loosely laid on my dash and fall off all the time and they get banged up. I throw them in uh, my backpack without a case. All the things you shouldn't do with optics, I do with these and they're fine. So, in fact, if I have time, I will link to our uh, last interview with Costa Del Mar and <laughs> the wonderful rep actually took out a pair of Costas and her keys and start scratching the heck out of the lenses. No ill effect, no scratch. So you get what you pay for, right? There's also the polycarbonate version of this, which will one, be lighter weight, two, uh, probably better for high impact activities, and three, um, be a little more cost effective. Still has great Costa optics, and I do have several Costa sunglasses that have the polycarbonate lenses, and I often will opt for those if I am 
really getting after it and I want to save weight and I don't want to take a chance on anything shattering. I've yet to shatter a pair of glass lenses uh, from Costa at least, um, but I've shattered other companies. I'm not saying they're better or worse, but it's not pretty when they shatter. Don't want to be part of that. So long story longer, one last gander at the Diego. I'm rambling because I was hoping you would get a chance to take in the aesthetic, the look, the function. And if you have any questions, hopefully you formulate those questions and you put them in the comments below because I do read them and I do get back to you. And I do really enjoy the international conversations I get to have with you all about sunglasses. 90% of the time, I learn something from you guys. So I thank you for sharing that with me and the audience. So again, put those comments, questions, insights down below. I'm Sean Sewell, owner and director of Stoke for Engagement.com. And as always, I appreciate you. Until next time, take care.